happy Monday. This is your Angel Message Monday. Okay, so we just had this really beautiful new moon. It was also a total solar eclipse. It was a really big energy. Think of it as a huge light that was dissolving really old stories, really old stories. And it dated back to quite some time ago. So these are old stories that have been ready to shed for years, I will say years. Um, but either way, I hope that you are feeling light and ready to take some action, but go slow. So we're in this waxing crescent moon, first quarter moon this next weekend, which is the pace of this is take time to plan, prepare, think about what you want, reflect, tune into your values. And then when the first quarter moon comes this weekend, think about action you can take. But my advice for this go is to be patient and take action, but take slower action than normal, perhaps. All right. So choose one, two, or three. If you're choosing well, position <laughs> number one to so this card, Ah, you get, oh, this is really cool. So fame and reputation and also fame and reputation because I'm working with a double deck, which just means there's two of the same deck, um, but came, so it's a, it's a double dose if you're choosing number one. So for you, I want you to think about how you wish to be seen or how you are allowing yourself to be seen, perhaps what you are hiding and pay attention to the Bagua map in um, the fame and reputation sector, which is the ninth sector. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, look in the discovery vault at school.genanicole.net. There is a totally free explanation of the Bagua map and how to lay that out. And visit that area in your home, which is back center. If your home were a tic-tac-toe grid, back center from the front door and get real with yourself on how do you wish to be seen and look at that area and understand if that area is a true reflection of your authentic self. Having said that too, um, coming up soon, very soon, um, I put together this book called House Speak. And yes, there is a book called Animal Speak. And I promise you that it was just the title and the name that was given. But it is finally ready. It is finally prepared. It is with members at the moment. And I will have the link shortly for anybody else who's interested in getting that ebook or actual book. It's a short little book, but it gives you um, all, of, all of the different meanings of your house and how your house talks to you because our walls do talk. Now, it's also with this position, the second card you get is the nine of earth. And the nine of earth is all about self-employment. So if you're choosing position one, think about how you are um, seen and how you want to be seen. And are you letting your truth shine forward in this world mm, putting that back in this is a yeah and and really you know if you are here to be of service what are you doing to share that all right if you're choosing position two i'm going from the middle of the deck you get the mirror so inviting every person place and situation to be a reflection of you and you also get the three of water so perhaps in your family do that in your family look at um, the areas of life that you are celebrating and having fun or maybe where other people are celebrating and having fun and notice where you want that or where you're creating that for yourself but this is this placement is a invitation to invite every person place and thing to be a mirror for yourself it is also a placement that says we are getting ready to create something. So what is it that you are getting ready to create to birth um, in this world? Also with this position, just have more fun. Just have more fun. Take action to have more fun. Whatever it is that you're doing, maybe journal this weekend on how do I have fun or what, um, you know, what are my hobbies? My husband always says that I have no hobbies, but the truth is my hobbies are just what I do. This is a hobby. <laughs> so, you know, really tune into what brings you joy, what lights you up. If you're choosing position number three and choosing from the top of the deck, you get fire. I'm thinking of that song, Come on, baby, lama, fire. So fire with the ace of earth. This is really big gifts. This is contracts that are coming in. This signifies abundance that's coming to you. But it also signifies to give birth to your passion. So it's another birthing. Aces are always depicted with hands in traditional tarot because they are gifts from the universe. So what I would say if you're choosing this position is think about the inflow of energy that is coming to you and um, any business contracts that you're debating or any business moves you want to make, partnerships that you're trying to collaborate into, if there's documents that you have to find, sign, find the unsigned, follow your passion. This is 
a message that it is really time to give birth to your passion, to your internal fire. So Susan, if you're watching this and you choose this, this is really for you. All right. I'm sending you love. I always love to hear how it resonates and enjoy this actionable time of preparation. It's a good week to be in it. Have a good week.